uh, here we have the cluster up and running we'll create uh, a notebook for that so to home and let's click here on the blank space let's create a notebook let's uh, look for the R and we'll call this diamonds okay so this is the R notebook let's take a look at what diamonds are so diamonds uh, it has around 54 diamonds uh, in rows and here you can see we have 10 variables you have the carrot the cut the color the clarity the depth the table and the price you can see here uh, later we'll use uh, there are five levels of the diamond and you can see here again colorless near colorless faint yellow very light yellow and light yellow so may color grading siya. and may x uh, Y and Z. So U Z is on the depth. The Y is this portion. So you can see there's an X Y Z values as we go here. And so yung dimensions. So let's try to do it on DataBricks. First, we need to require Spark R. So let's copy this one. And let's go to our Databricks notebook. Let's paste that. Okay, uh, let's press Shift Enter. So this is your uh, path file. At the young CSV file mo. And then this is the Spark uh, source. You have the header true, you have the schema it's true, and we're gonna read the diamonds with the column rename diamonds. After that, we're gonna split it into train set and test set, and we're gonna exclude the row IDs by <coughs> using the syntax minus one. <coughs> so let's try to do that. We're still running it 54,000 rows on Spark. So, yeah, we manage it. Spark R. It's, it's running. Let's copy the next code. And let's look at the tree, the head. So, check natin yung head niya. Ayan. So, ito yung carrot, yung cut, the color, the clarity, the depth, the table, the price, and the dimensions, which is XYZ. So, the next thing is we're gonna train it with a general linear model to, for the price. So, try natin to. Let's paste it here. Um, so, if you don't want to type everything, you can just uh, put here the dot. Or if you want to, to name the variables, you can type it one by one. but uh, if it's too long you just press dot and then comma <coughs> so the data is from training data the distribution is caution and let's try to run the model okay takes around some time to run the model
there. Well, uh, there's a lot of things that are significant. P value is less than 0 0.05. Here. See there. It's okay, let's move on to the next command line. Uh, we're gonna output it to Spark Data Frame. Okay, let's paste it here. Let's make a prediction. So this one is we're predicting something on the linear model on the test data. So remember, we're on the test data and we're predicting something on it, and we select the price. And prediction column so you can see some are bit far 2,833 the prediction is 3,859 so there's a bit some error bit errors uh, we're a bit far out let's go back there okay so we did that predictions and check the manhattan errors and see the errors let's see our errors here let's copy that go back here and let's check for our errors on root mean square error so rule of thumb the closer to the zero the better it is let's wait for it to finish there so major the error is a bit big we want like errors at close to zero so that's it for a general linear model using databricks